Hey guys, Sunry here, and I'm going to teach you how to solve and graph a two-step inequality. So, let's get to it. Everyone knows the basics, so we need to have a problem. So, this is our problem for today. Ernest works in the shipping department loading shipping crates with boxes. Each empty crate weighs 150 pounds. How many boxes weighing 35 pounds can Ernest put in the crate if the total weight is to be no more than 850 pounds? So, we know that each empty crate weighs 150 we need to know how many boxes weighing 35 pounds can Ernest put in the crate if the total is to be no more than 850 pounds. So 35 pounds. X is going to be our variable for today because X is how many boxes can we put in the crate. We know that each empty crate weighs 150, so that's going to be plus 150. So this together is going to be less than or equal to 850. We want to get this by itself, so we minus by 150. That's going to come out to be nothing, so we can just cross that out. What we do to one side, we need to do to the other, so we're going to minus this by 150. That's going to come out to be 700. So we have 35x is less than or equal to 700. So we see here that we are times so we divide by 35, which is going to be nothing. So we have this divided by 35, because what we do to one side, we do to the other, it's going to be 20. So x is less than or equal to 20. So we know that our answer is x is less than or equal to 20. So I'm going to show you guys how to graph it on a number line. Here is our number line. We have 0 here and 20 here. Since this line right here means equal to it's going to be a closed circle because it includes 20. If it didn't include 20 and it was just like this, it would be an open circle. But here we have that it is equal to or less than, so it's going to be a, a closed circle. So this is less than. Less than always goes to the left and more always goes to the right. So we are going to shade this way because x is either going to be equal to or less than 20. So we put an arrow here, and that is how you graph it on a number line. Questions. What is the language of algebra? The language of algebra is a simple language that is used to create mathematical models of real world situations. Can we say one method is better than the other? Yes, you can say one method is better than the other. Even though today in my video I only showed one method, if one method helps you understand the problem better, then you can say that that method is way better. What is logic? Mathematical logic is the part of mathematics concerned with study and formal languages, formal reasoning, the nature of mathematical proof, probability of mathematical statements, computability, and other aspects of the foundations of mathematics.